Hi students, we are back and we are ready to trim our lidded jars. We're gonna trim our lids so they nestle down into the well of our jars here. They rest on the flange. I have the jar I threw earlier. It's leather hard, it's ready to be trimmed, and I have the lid. Uh-oh, doesn't look like the lid fits inside the jar. What do I do? I have to trim it. In order to trim it, I have to stabilize this in some way. And the way that we do this in ceramics is we use something called a chuck. This is a leather hard ring that I threw earlier and we use this to support our lids to make it possible for us to trim the outside of our lids so they fit into our jars. To throw a chuck, you are going to take a piece of clay, center it up, and throw a chuck and let it get leather hard. It's important that you try and keep these chucks in the leather hard state the entire time you are making lidded jars. These will serve you through the whole process of making lids throughout this term. So I'm gonna center this ball of clay. I have about a pound of clay here and I'm going to open this up straight down to the wheel head so there's no bottom. I pull this open I compress the edge, and now I'm gonna raise it up about three inches tall. So I have lots of room for any kind of knobs that I wanna make. You wanna make these lidded jar, or these chucks, to be somewhat narrow so they'll support the lid and not have the lid drop in when you set them on top. Now, to clean this up, I just trim the bottom, I trim the interior, and then I'll set this outside to dry. I'm gonna remove it. And now, I'm gonna grab the chuck that I made earlier and put it on the wheel head so I can trim the lids that I made. So I'm gonna center up the chuck pretty close to center. Before I fasten it down, however, I wanna put the lid on, flip it upside down, and then I need to get the lid centered on the chuck, and then I'll secure everything. So in order to do this, I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm gonna make a mark on top. This is gonna tell me right here which side is sticking out too far and which side is pushed in towards the middle. This part is sticking out too far because the ring that I drew is wider here. So I'm gonna nudge this this way just a little bit and see if that helps center it up. Remember, when you center your clay at any time to trim, you wanna make sure that it's leather hard and that when you move it, you only move it a fraction of an inch at a time. This is very centered. So when I draw a ring, I see that the ring is an even thickness all the way around, showing me that it's centered. Okay, I'm gonna lug down my chuck and you can't really lug down the side of your lid very well onto the chuck because there won't be any clearance for your trimming tool so what I do is I just use a tiny bit of water to help stick it down and because they're both leather hard they'll sort of fuse together just a little bit so that way it'll hold down. Now, when I'm trimming my lid because I measured so well, I don't have that much trimming to do. 
So I just trim the smallest amount at first and I'm gonna clean all this up off the top here all the residue left from the surface of my bat. I'm gonna stop my wheel, and then I'm gonna take my lidded jar and set it down on top and see if the lid slips inside. And it's not slipping in. It still needs to be trimmed just a little bit further. So I'm gonna turn this on a little higher. I'm going to trim just a little further. Bits and pieces. And then I'm going to say yes. So now this has dropped over the lid. Okay, the jar has. And it tells me that the lid now is fitting the jar. So I get to pop this off. I'm gonna soften this edge a little bit. And I'm gonna see how it fits. Still seems a little tight, like I'm corking the lid in here. And we never want to cork our lids into our jars because we'll never be able to remove them after the bisque firing. Just going to center this a little further. Trim a tiny bit more away. Pop it off. Smooth it again. and see how the fit is now. Beautiful. Now this rests right inside my lidded jar. Okay, so it's resting perfectly right on the flange. It's a nice tight fit without corking. So now I can trim the bottom of my jar. So I'll center this up. I like to leave a little water on my wheel. Let me raise up the camera. And for the sake of expediency, I'm gonna tap on center. Lug my jar down. Get my wheel going. Now I'm going to trim the foot on my jar to reflect the shape and the form that I threw into it. You'll notice that I always trim the lid first and the jar second. So I'm just trimming a nice foot and the foot ring that I'm making correlates really nicely to the opening of the jar and where the floor meets the wall on the inside of the jar. We'll trim out the interior. And you can see that this jar has a little wobble. That's okay, it's handmade and I also dried it out really quickly so sometimes your pieces that dry in the sun really fast warp just a tiny bit. Trimming the interior smooth here and now I'm compressing the foot. I'll remove this from the wheel and now I have a nice trimmed form where the foot really kind of matches the diameter of the mouth. Ta-da!